Hi and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we were trying to finish, or time before last time, we were trying to finish the Pilgrimage of the Seven Graces, and we couldn't because we forgot something. Then it turned out that we had um, not enough money to get back to Belmora and actually finish it. So we decided that after finishing it, we were trying to raise some money. For now, I am though checking out Yulene's hut because Edwina at the Major Guild sent us there. She was, see, she, see would be German. She was rather concerned about her friend, so we're going to check it out rather fast, which is now. So, to make sure that she's okay. Um, I don't know what I will get for this. Um, I know that in the end from the Major Guild quests, of course, you get rank and stuff like that. I don't know what the quest um, reward is. I don't know if I get money or something. But... I do know that I will spend lots of money on training my major skills anyway, so I will need lots of that. And inside there, we will see what we can expect. I have dropped a quick save before this episode, so we can just head right in. What's that? We're being attacked by a scamp right immediately after entering the hut. Luckily, our spark spell is pretty strong. Okay, so that was... I hope that she's okay. Let's let's have a look around. We're nearly, nearly... Not nearly dead, but pretty shaken up. So let's heal ourselves also. What else can we find? There is a locked door. Everything is trashed. There is Edwina's clothes and her key. Oh no. The doors of the spirit. Oh oh. Either she has. Let's check inside that door if the suspicion is correct. Is that. That's a guy. Where's Yulene? I don't think that he is. What has happened here? Is the scamp really gone? Thank you, wherever you are. This is all my fault. So, what did you do? What has happened here? I wanted to be a real sorcerer, not just Helene's apprentice for the rest of my life. I wanted to prove I could summon a scamp. Then Helene would have to take me seriously. I'm just glad it's all over. Thank you for killing the scamp, mighty. A scamp? At first he did everything I told him, but he tricked me. He wasn't really under my control. Then he started tearing the place up, and he took all my clothes, and I locked myself in this closet, and uh, it's just been horrible. I don't want to be a sorcerer anymore. I don't ever, I won't, won't ever summon another Daedra as long as I live. I hope you won't. I hope you've learned your lesson. Where's Yulene, by the way? Oh, he doesn't tell me anything more, basically. Well, you know... I hope you learned your lesson, but ah, where's... Hello. Uh, did you want something? Because I think this these are Helene's clothing. Clothes. I hate this word, honestly. T-H-E-S. Clothes? Clothes? I, also, one thing that I... I usually, usually go around this by saying clothing. Yeah, it's... Where is she? The scamp get her? You do know that I need to report this, right? To the guild? To Edwina? I hope that Yulene will turn out to be alright. Scamp. Look what he did to this place. It's a mess. And we're even clipping through the through the place. And, and, like hanging in the furniture. Let's head back. There is... I think this was the wrong way, but there is someone who... Not enough magicka. 
This is bad because. Ah. Luckily, only he is attacking us. <coughs> Not all the others. Uh. Sanad as a Nurdian. Nurdian, so that's. Well, these things are all kind of worthless. So we came from that side. Yeah, the cliff racer, of course. Because you can't be outside without meeting a cliff racer. By the way, these are the most rare enemies in the game. Let us see if we can just... You know, you had, you had Helene start being all trashed up. Let's just try sleeping in that on bed. I can, luckily. Yolene isn't here, and this is your fault. And it's also your fault that I'm clipping through everything. So let me save, let me try fighting all the other guys. They're one by one. Ah. Luckily, it's only one guy left. So this, for the game, this actually counts as murder, because I am the first one to do, actually do damage, but on the other hand, I don't care. Also, not valuable enough. Let's see what they had. Kwama eggs. It seems like those were actually outlaws, so it was not illegal to do this. Perfect. Because Kwama are usually... You only get the, the eggs from mines, and these are heavily regulated, so... These are most likely, or were most likely, egg poachers. So let's head back and report. Music changes, which means there is some kind of enemy. And I don't have the magicka to cast a spell. Then. Because of course I don't. Increasing your magicka is one of the most important things as a mage, as it seems. That and learning your skills, basically. <laughs> of course it is, but I think increasing the magicka is harder than actually increasing the spell skills. Don't think you can train magicka. You could also have, like, wear amulets and stuff. Here's the Silt Strider. So let's head back to Aldrun. Travel to Aldrun. And head into the Mage's Guild to report our success. Or, well, success, yeah. To report what has been happening there. Training for the right price. I need to get to Edwina. I have an important message for her. Oh, Edwina, good to see you. So, I have been at Hulene's hut and you don't believe what happened there. So, Hulene's apprentice summoned a scamp. Is that all? I can't believe I was distracted from my studies for something so trivial. Speaking of which, I discovered these scrolls during my research. You might find them useful. Oh, scrolls of fifth barrier, which is a shield spell. Like, this is basically, I would call it Shield 5. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. Hey, well, do you have any more duties for me? I finished my study of the Chimar of Aminium. Can you believe this isn't about Dwemer construct at all? This book was completely useless. In any case, I need you to return the book before, before Cyrilon, Cyrilon will suspects anything. Return the book to wherever you found it. Okay, I will. So we need to get back into her chambers and put it back into the chest. 
of course, without her noticing. Trap door. We don't want to go through a trapped door. This is not the place. Wasn't it? I, I was pretty sure that Siri Lonwe. I'm constantly like being glitched or like stuck into these pillars. That's really annoying. I'm pretty sure she was living here. Where was she? No, that's not her place. Outland. What do you want? I want to know where she is. Let's try to untrap this door. I can't hit the cancel button with the escape key. Yeah, my security skill is very bad, so I can't disarm the traps that easily. Okay, maybe I can ask someone. Of course, usually Welcome, it is. Friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk about? Well, she doesn't tell me where Siri Longue actually is. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Maybe in the journal and the first time she was talking about that book. In Vivek. Mage skilled in Vivek. Okay. So options. No. No, it's a it's it's a tab. Where is the close button? Ah, I need to pick journal. This is yeah, the, the user interface here is sometimes is a bit confusing. So let's head back to Vivek and ask Cyril and Web. Vivek. Speak freely, friend. So uh, this is where she was. How interesting. A tourist. And let's just put that book, which I would rather keep for myself. Where is it? Children of the Sky, there it is. Let's just put it back. Nope, I'm not going to tell on her. And travel to Aldrun. There, I brought the book back. The book has been returned. Good work, associate. Once I know the locations of some Dwemer ruins, I will be asking you to travel to some dangerous places. These amulets will re help you return you to safety. Ooh, nice. Basically, it's like a multi-use scroll, which you can recharge. So, do you have any more duties for me? I have new duties for you now, but speak with me again, we have earned the rank of Conjurer. Um, speaking of ranks, how about an advancement? Congratulations, you are now officially knighted the apprentice. Any more apprentice? A walker. Paid use. And now I'm a conjurer. How about the duties now? I'm so glad you asked, conjurer. All this delicate phase of my research, I need you to study a Dwemer tube. A Dwemer tube? They're easy to find. I believe I saw one in Angkrumpf. <laughs> when I got last, was last here, would you be willing to travel there and bring back the Dwemer tube? Um, yeah. I appreciate your dedication, Nighty. That ruin is northwest to Gnesis, but there is an easier way to get there. Go to Alp Velothi and follow the coast to the west. Honestly, I'm actually not going to this place. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the Even though it might be a nearly complete waste of time, I'm going to go to that place near Belmora. 
And I'm going to uh, going to loot this ruin because this is like my favorite looting ruin. And there might even be one of these tubes. What can I do? And I'm pretty you, sure man? that this um, ah, hi Jira, uh, that this uh, tube is also there. So it's it's not. I'm I'm pretty sure it's not a. Um, you need to get this specific tube. There we go. Restore magic. Ah, perfect. Um, but you can get like any tube. Your actions precede you out. So, thing is, let me see, we have Feather, yes, very well. So the way to the ruins that I usually go to, because they are pretty close to Bulmora, and since Bulmora is the starting city, um, it's just out of the town. At the fort, just go to the left. I think that was that was the directions, and then you go over that bridge that we've been under multiple times now, and in there you can find lots of expensive loot, but also lots of danger. So I'm curious how this character will fare. So I don't know. It's not after the fort. It's Right before the forest, you just head. Well, I think it was just heading left here towards Caldera and then immediately to the right up that hill up here. And then we get to this place in the distance. And let me just rest. So this also is the way to Molet Mar. And I'm pretty sure that then there will be the bridge rather close. So I knew that the scamp was in there. Yeah, this is the bridge that I was talking about. And these are the ruins. And the ruins are kind of guarded by this guy on the bridge, so I know that he will attack me. I don't, never understood what his deal was. Like, is he some kind of snowy cranius? Is he some kind of outlaw, or why was he there? And yeah, these these are like this is worth thirty. This is worth seventy. But it's also very heavy. Let's see if I take this off of him. You know what? I'm going to strip all because I just because I can. I'm going to strip all of them naked. And these are dwarven things. Like here, a weight of weight of tw two and a value of two hundred. This that's what I mean. Raw glass. You, you, this can be used to make glass armor. But this is a way to quickly get m lots of money. And this is... And this, again, is the, the exploration thing that always got me in games. And yeah, this, this is the door. It opens like this and then you can't go in anymore, so you have to actually open it and quickly run through. Why did the sound stop? I accidentally pressed the E button. I wanted to do a little quick save, waiting until the door is closed and then doing this. Like, ending the crank and like this. And we're entering the hall of the centrifuge. So this is what the inside of a dwarven ruin looks like. And this is like the, the mystical thing. It's like the same that the that the um, what was the name of the um, 
of the elves in um, in Oblivion. You had their special ruins. So there is another guy, and I can just shock him from remote. That is, if I don't accidentally attack the nothing. But we do have our magical potions. Hi, Jude the Shadow. And there he is gone. Okay, nothing here. So it seems like there were some outlaws actually hold in here. Frink runs. Ruse. Frink ruse. Okay. Let's just take everything he has. Because I can. I was just making sure that I was using the right pronoun. Really? Really? He didn't notice me and... Well, maybe he doesn't attack me right away. So let's just take the potion and then talk to this seemingly nice fellow. Hi. You're mine! Okay. If I'm yours, then how about a little shock to therapy? It does well for body and soul, I've heard. So there, there actually was some kind of glitch. <laughs> okay, so there are three doors, all three lead to the Weeping Bell Hall. Since I don't know what's in there, I'm going to rest up. Maybe I should do the quick save after resting. Rest up. This is how I usually use these games, the, the, the newer ones, oh, constantly sneaking. But sneaking has never worked for me in this game, so I am actually not doing it. Honestly, I would love a place like a hotel or something, which had this kind of, you know, these, these lamps and everything designed like an old Dwemer ruin, that would be really awesome. Heaven Scout. Let's go in there. So, let's see here. Okay, we can jump down here. There is actually someone down there, which. Yeah, perfect. He ran away. He's trying to get to us, and I think that they can pass through these doors. Can and will. Here, as you see, weight 50, value 500. So this is this is what I'm usually was talking about in these games. Um, if you're over encumbered, you just can't move it at all, which I actually like more. So you have to put that cog on the ground. Or you would have, and that's what I basically wanted to do. Use the feather spell. Because now we can carry a little bit more. And we can use this technique now to get back and sell everything. And as you can see, the feather spell doesn't hold very long, but we can rest to get the, uh, the magic cut back if we run out. So what I usually was doing is like dump everything on the ground a bit further away from me and then, then pick it up again and, you know, have a huge pile of junk laying around. I can't rest, there are enemies nearby. Okay, so this means I need to actually put this on the ground again. Head back inside, rest up and check where the enemies are. I need to kill the enemies first. Because as long as we're threatened, we can't rest. We can't restore our magicka and thus here are enemies nearby. That's interesting. But we did rest in here. Uh, team with our. There's still. I mean, this guy needs to be somewhere, right? I don't know where. Ah, he's still on there, okay. So I'm actually going to get back, head back, 
and sell everything and then come back again. Oh, this is creepy. This is, I think, not part of the original game. I, I don't remember having these creepy voices. Now I can rest. See, the enemies are nearby up there. So let me head up there and kill them. And then we can head back. There is Flynn and money. I guess this will lead me to that other guy. But I'm not sure. So the running back and forth is something that I will do outside of YouTube. You should have picked an easier opponent. Yeah, one that doesn't run away. So you will only see the exploring your parts blood here, not mine. Oh. I misinterpreted the sound. It was lack of magic, I'm not fair. There we go. So thankfully, due to our... Take all due to our um, stronger spell, we are now able to easily kill them. 179, so as you see everything here is very valuable. So I'm basically usually t just taking everything with me. Okay, so I will now Check what's behind that door and then end the episode. The sweeping the hole. Okay, so I will end the episode here. And we'll then off, off recording on stream for those watching on Twitch. Get back and sell all that stuff. Ah, oh, creepy sounds. <laughs> so, for all those watching on YouTube, See you later. As always, the same old drill. I will roll the dice to see how many days until the next episode. Bye bye.